say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Together.
So I still want that picture, amen? I still want that picture. And matter of fact, what we're going to do is we have a Facebook page. Amen. So what? And as, as of right now, we do not have a cover page for our Facebook page. Y'all aren't talking. So we're going to take this group picture, all of y'all in here today, amen. Y'all ain't saying that. And we're going, and I'm going to make that our cover photo for our Facebook page, amen. Amen. Now, now don't shy away because I said Facebook, ain't nobody going to come looking for you. Amen. But I did, but I do, I do want to honor Kimber's request that we not, that we not post her daughter's business on Facebook. Amen. Amen. But I, I, I do want that picture of all of us that are here today. I do want us to get that. Amen. Will y'all do that? Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, I got some good news to share about my baby. I got some good news. I got good news to share about her. She went to the doctor for another round of chemo on Friday. Amen. And God just blessed her life. God blessed her life. Uh, little baby, when she was in the hospital, God blessed her. Put her on some uh, anti on some um, something uh, Zantac to stop acid reflux, and then they, they put a five year old on blood pressure medication. Oh, but when she got to the doctor on Friday, right. they took away the Zantac and the blood pressure medication. <laughs> and I just got to praise God for this. I got to praise God because our prayers are being answered. I told y'all before that when they called her, the numbers were 5,200. By the time they did the did the surgery, the, the, the um, numbers were 7,200. By the time she left the hospital, the numbers were back down to 1,400. Well, the numbers are even down even lower now. The numbers are down at 800, which means the cancer is dying, and her cells are beginning to, to rebuild on their own. You can't tell me God ain't good. Amen, 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 amen. amen. Kimberly and I were talking, Kimberly and I were talking, and, and, and she, she, she was trying to figure out why Aubrey got sick. Aubrey got sick Friday night. She was throwing up and all that good stuff. And I went to Mama's house last night. With me and Mama was talking about it. Mama said, well, kid, the baby just eat anything in sight. She wouldn't hardly eat, but now she'll eat anything in sight. She had ice cream said Friday night. She had some pizza or something other Friday night. And she laid down. Mama said, Keith, that, that wasn't medication, baby. She just ate too much and laid down. I said, glory be to God. She drunk milk and all of that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's, but it's good to know that she still has an appetite. Amen. Amen. We've been picking at her because the little jaws are getting fat, the little stomach is getting fat. And Mama said, Keith, don't, don't say that to her about it no more. She, she don't like that. I said, okay. All right. But she is doing great. She is doing great. And I say that and now I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. Um, yeah, going back and forth to Atlanta is not, um, it's not cheap. Amen. 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 I, I'm not going to ask you for, for, for anything, but I'm going to ask you to bless, to bless them. Um, and, and I don't share this to try to make anybody feel bad for my sister, but the girl has a lot on her plate. She has a lot on her plate. She is, she's dealing with, um, she's dealing with with a five year old. She has a two year old that cannot go from where I stand to that door without being out of breath, because she needs another open heart surgery. She has a little boy that can't even talk and tell you what's wrong with him, but God is still able to help that too. So we believe God to bless her and her children. And, and I'm believing you. I believe in God for you to be a blessing to her on today and her family. Amen. As as they continue to 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 fight these fight these battles and win these victories. Amen. Amen. I'm not going to ask you to come in any certain particular order. I just would ask that if you would come now, if you just come, if you are writing a check, uh, please make the check payable to Kimberly Cash, K I M B E R L Y Cash. Amen. We thank you so much for that. And at this time, if you would, just, just come. Just come. Just come. Just come. Keep playing that lean on everlasting arm. Amen.
Christ right here this morning. Amen. Feel it, feel it kind of churchy. Amen. Amen. To God be the glory. Amen. 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 Thank you all so much for what you've done this morning. God bless you all so much. Um, I wanted to, I invited Kimberly to come to church today, but of course, you know, she, she's unable to do it this morning. But, but Aubrey wants to, to tell y'all thank you. She said, I, I want to do a video. Do you have TVs at your church? <laughs> so, Frederick, we got work to do. Amen. Amen. We got work to do. And, and in that, I'm, I'm, I'm glad the baby said that. Because I've been praying for how to approach that. And it means that all everything that we have in here, the whole PA system would be upgraded. And, and we would be able to put one big monitor that's retractable right here. Amen. Amen. And it could, tra it, it could transform our worship. It could transform our worship experience. To where you don't have to try to figure out what I'm saying when I'm giving you my points. We can just put it on the PowerPoint screen and just drop it down. Y'all see what we're doing. Say amen. amen. That's a good project to work towards. Y'all don't y'all ain't saying it. Some of y'all don't like that idea because y'all saying we don't need that. But if you don't need it, you gotta look to the future for growth. Just because you here right now don't think so don't mean in the future it won't be needed. Say amen.
worship better than I do. Why don't you take just a few seconds and, 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 and encourage yourself. And then after you encourage yourself, y'all not doing that. Get up and go encourage somebody else that it's going to be all right. It's going to be all right.
like to hear the word. But before I go, I, I got to share this little piece of paper with y'all. Come here, baby. Come here, baby. Come here, baby. Come here. Come here. Come here. This is probably one of the most faithful people in Flaherty Nation. She hear every time. Listen, y'all. Listen. Listen. I said, go and encourage somebody else and tell them it's going to be all right. This little baby brought me, how old are you, seven? Seven. She sat back there and she done drew a picture of a house. What is that? That's a church, I'm sorry. You talking about the light pole out there? With a light pole beside it. That's a church with a light pole. With a pink heart. And then she put the parking lot on the bottom of it. And she wrote on this piece of paper. <laughs> My God. She wrote on this piece of paper. I love this church. If I could get about three of y'all in here and I'll make four that can stand to your feet and agree with Mariah that I love this church.
Somebody I know there is none like him. Let me know there is none like him.
lifted our hands to you. But there is no other help that you know. Father, if you withdraw yourself from us, we know not where we would go. Father, today we want to say thank you. Father, we thank you for your spirit that is in this room right now. Father, we thank you for every walk of life that is well with us as it is. Father, we thank you because even though some of us may have aches and pains, yes. Father, we thank you because we know that you're still able to move those aches and pains. Yes. Father, we stand now with our heads bowed, looking towards Mother Dust. But even though our heads are bowed, our hearts are lifted up to you. Yes. Lifted up in gratitude, saying thank you. For one more day. One more day. Yeah. Didn't have to do it, but you did. Started last night when you watched over us as we slept at slumber. Yeah. And then it kept going to this morning when you touched us yeah. and allowed our eyes to come open one more time. Yeah. We thank you that when we rose, we were clothed and still yeah. in our right minds. Yeah. We thank you that when we rose this morning, we still had the use and activity of all of our limbs. We thank you that when we rose this morning, we still had a mind to know what day it was. Lord, and we still had clothes to put on to cover our nakedness. We thank you that this, this morning, I master because you put food on our table. A roof over our head. Yeah. When the storms were raging all around us this week, yeah. you shielded and protected all of us. Yeah. And for that, we tell you, thank you. Yeah. Now, Lord, yeah. we've come to your house. Yeah. Some writer says we have come yeah. into this house to magnify the Lord. Yeah. We've come in this house. Yeah. To praise your holy name. Yeah. We've come in this house yeah. to give you glory, praise, and all the honor. Lord, because you're worthy of all of our praise. Yeah. We're standing at the footstool of mercy, asking that you please have mercy on us. Lord, we know that we've seen and come short of your glory. We know that we have not walked perfectly in your eyesight. Amen. But we thank you this morning for grace and mercy. We thank you this morning because uh, your grace and your mercy forgives us every day of all of our sins. We thank you this morning. Lord, because we know that whatever we need, yeah. we can find it in you. Yeah. So whatever it is yeah. that your people have come for this morning, yeah. praying that by faith, yeah. meet them where they are, yeah. grant their needs. Yeah. Now in the name of Jesus, yeah. some come for sickness, yeah. some come to be healed. Yeah. Some come to be delivered. Amen. Some want to be set free. Yeah. But whatever it is this morning, Amen. we know you got all power Amen. in your hands. Yeah. And you can do anything yeah. but fail. Yeah. So we're leaning yeah. and depending upon you. Yeah. We're trusting yeah. in your holy word. Yeah. We know nobody yeah. in time like these that can help us. Nobody, Nobody but you. Yeah. We thank you. Thank we thank you for your man servant. Thank you. Minister Harvell Smith. Yeah. That is going to stand and preach your word today. Yeah. 
praying now, God, that you would endow him right now. So that he'll be able to speak boldly, clearly, firmly what you have given him to say to us today. We've come seeking a word. We need a word of revitalization. We need a word of rejuvenation. We need a word of motivation. In the name of Jesus, we're trusting you today. And Lord, when we've done all we can do, when we've sung our last song, and when we prayed our last prayer, when we've gone in our room to bid this world goodbye, standing on this side of Jordan, waiting the cross over on the other side, we ask that you would be there with us. Be there with us in our dying hour and receive our souls a resting place where you are. This prayer we humbly ask in Jesus' name. Bless us indeed. In the name of Jesus, we pray and give thanks. Amen. 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 We want to give God some praise as we get ready to do it. The word of God.
You want to know why they still getting drunk in the same room while you sitting there? You want to know why they light up that joint while you right there? They don't see Jesus in you. You were like a thorn, Christian. You come, you know the word, but you're not utilizing what God has given you to help you or to help others. So if you talking about you want to be like Christ, Christ walked around helping people, saving souls, but you won't even invite nobody to church. I must not have said that. Because nobody said that. This fourth kind of seed, this fourth kind of Christian, is the one that fell upon good ground and brought forth fruit. When you fall upon good ground, means you have to take root. For a flower to grow, if you dig around the base of the flower, you'll see these small roots. Because you see these small roots, it helps you understand why that same flower isn't there next year. Because those small roots are only going so far in the ground. <laughs> but then you have the big oak tree. The big oak tree doesn't have small roots. That oak tree has roots that stretch out. The roots to that oak tree are deep. You can't dig up an oak tree by going right there at the tree. Because that oak tree is rooted. And because it's deep rooted, it's not easily moved. Here we are as church folks. Many of us are like the little flower. <laughs> we come to church. We fall on good ground. We're in a church that we're gaining something we need. The reason I know we're gaining something that we need is because we're now out in the world like we once were. So there are some roots there. But because the roots aren't deep. The first time somebody say something we don't like, we take up root and leave. We take up those shallow roots and we leave. Funny how we'll take up those shallow roots and leave the church. When somebody say something we don't like. All right. All right. All right. Hey, but we'll go to that same job hey. for 15 years. Hey. And don't nobody like us and we don't like them. Hey. Hey. We'll go to that same looker house hey. Sunday afternoon because I can't go to the looker house and buy it. 
Knowing the folks don't like me, All right. but because it's something I want. All right. Those shallow roots that we have yeah. makes us get up and move on. But if you don't get all the roots just right, some of y'all plant plants and stuff. I've seen it done. When a plant gets too big for one pot, you got to repot it in a bigger pot. But when you do that, you got to get all the roots. Because if you don't get the roots, the flower will die. Right. At the funeral home, we get flowers every week. In the summertime, if we get some flowers on a Thursday, yeah. Monday you go back to that grave and those are brown flowers now. Yeah. Everything is dead. Right. Because they don't put any roots in those flowers. They just put in flowers. Yes. Many of us in the church are just flowers. All right. All right, right. We got a good appearance. Yes. <laughs> we put our suit on. Yep. We fix our hair up. Yep. Put on the pretty dresses. Lotion up real good. Put on your colognes and your perfume. Yeah. And come in and put on a great show. Yeah. You go and get in your nice car. Yeah. After you leave out your nice house. Yeah. And people around you say, oh, they got it together. Uh, Everything in their life looks good. Oh, yeah. But you see more and more people who have money yeah. committing suicide. Yeah. The appearance looks good. But if you're not rooted in the right thing, your life ain't going to be good. I say to you today, you need to take root in the right thing. You need to take root in Jesus. If you take root in Jesus, he can work things out for you. You know, as a little boy, they used to sing a song that said, what a friend we have in Jesus. All of our sins and griefs to bear. You were able to sing that song because he actually brought you through something. See, if you've never been through anything, it's okay not to praise the Lord. But if you ever went through something in life, if you never had some struggles in your life, if you ever had some pains in your life, you have something that you can be thankful to him for. And the reason you can say I got a friend in Jesus is because when you were going through all you were going through, he didn't turn his back on you. He stayed right there when things weren't going well for you. I don't know about you, but there are days that I can't hardly get through the day. And when things get rough on me, I begin to sing old songs. And those old songs are what pull me through. See, it says, how, how can we go about life thinking that we are all this and all that? If we don't have Jesus, everything that you have means nothing. See, your house is just temporary. Your cars are just temporary. Your husband and wife, real, real, speaking real, are just temporary. Because this life that you live in here on earth is just temporary. But if you stay in the Lord, you can get something that's everlasting. And when you get something that's everlasting, you can get a house not made by hands. You get to understand that the things you suffer with here on earth, you don't have to worry about no more. Whether it's the cancer you're dealing with, you don't have to worry about it no more.
everything you're going through can be much better. Some of us, we can't leave the house without a friend meeting us somewhere. <clears throat> that friend won't always be there for you. Some people can't cook without calling mama to ask her exactly how to make it. Yes! Mama won't be there all <laughs> Some people don't know what to do when they can't turn the day and get $20 yeah. to help you make it through without everybody knowing your business. Yeah. But they don't want to be there all grace and mercy earlier. Uh -huh. I want to close with this. There was an old lady. Everywhere she go, she saw a shadow. As soon as she leave out her house, the shadow began to follow. She would go to the grocery store and the shadow would follow her. She would go to work and that shadow would follow her. She would go to see people and do different things and everywhere she went the shadow would follow her. She went to a pastor one day because she was very concerned. <clears throat> Saying, Pastor, I don't know what it is. But everywhere I go, there's a shadow that follows me. <clears throat> the pastor smiled and said, well, what exactly is it? She said, well, whenever I leave the house, that shadow is right there. And from the time I leave the house till the time I make it back to the house, that shadow follows me. And it never leaves until I walk into the house. And the pastor said, baby, you have nothing to worry about. Because everywhere you go, goodness and mercy they follow you. So I say to you today, don't worry about your friends. Don't worry about mom and dad. Don't worry about your husband or your wife. As long as you got Jesus, you don't need nobody else.